Okay, boys and ghouls and girls of all ages. Gajo here. With another video game. This one, one of my favorite zombie games of all times, Killing Floor. Now, my top game is obviously Dial of Silent Hill. Uh, or, if you don't want to include that as a zombie game, then let's just say Resident Evil 2. Because Leon Kennedy, fuck yeah. So basically, Killing Floor is a very interesting round based game where you, you have rounds and waves of zombies that come after you, and all kinds of different ones, as you can see. Popping up over here. And they're all cool, I guess. But uh, so far, you want to make sure that you just play solo. And I'll just put it on beginner because, well, I'll play normal. Well, put it on beginner because then I'll otherwise I'll lose on round 10 or some shit. But, let's go to Biotic Slab. And let's play. So like I said, this game is round based, so there's 10 rounds and then a final round or seven rounds and a final round or four rounds and a final round it just depends on if the game's short, medium, or long and then they have different levels um, I'll show you this, this is a perk system um, they have different types of perks so they have a demolition sky, firebug, berserker, commando sharpshooter, commando if you don't know are just like automatic weapons support specialists kinda like guy that has some boom boom items, but mostly a shotgun and then a field medic. Pretty sure you know what a sharpshooter is and a berserker. And if you don't know what a firebug and a demolitions guy is, well then you're an idiot. But anyway, obviously you can get a bunch of different characters, pick who you want, they all have bioses and such. I like steampunk Mr. Foster. We are going to play. So basically, run around and try not to die. Sounds pretty legit, right? Well, the thing is, is that it's not like it's easy. I mean, you think it's easy. You think it's easy. But these little buggers here, they will grab you. And they will hold you until you kill them. And like, when you have like eight or nine of them doing it, and they're all hitting you at once, oh my god. It does get ridiculous, and you like want to scream. Basically, as long as you keep moving, or at least if there's not a lot of zombies, you just kind of keep the numbers down. Like, see, keep moving. You just want to move back and look. want to make sure that you're not uh, vulnerable. Because, you, because I mean, nothing will show up behind you unless there's a vent up there, but there's not. So I'll be safe. This guy. Oh, shit. Heal. La 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 la. I got the bomb. Oh, oh there. I chopped your head off. I chopped your head off. Slow. Well, and there you go. And then you go to the shop. See, so you get money. I have money down in the corner. I have like 684 pound, and I am going to go buy some stuff guns and such, you know. Okay, so we, I'm a guy that blows crap up. I want one of those, one of these, some more of those. And basically, I mean, you know, there's a tons of different weapons to choose from. You probably can't see them, but different classes have different weapons. When you pick a certain class, even on level one, I believe you still get discounts for weapons for that class. So the more you level up, the more discounts and all kinds of neat stuff, such as more health or stronger armor. You know, you're ex like I'm a demo guy, so when I blow stuff up, I blow it up real good. You know, and so on and so forth. I love this game. So I mean, like I said, you I mean you can go through ten waves of this nonsense. Take you about a half an hour or so. I'm not going to go through the whole thing. 
I'm just going to do a couple waves here and see if I can't find some interesting monsters. And yes, like I, you can pick up weapons too. Like there's a gun. Can't pick that up. Probably because I'm maxed out. Because you do have weight limits of how much you can carry. That's that's very unique to a game um, like this, I suppose. And it makes it very challenging too. So you can't just like load up on tons of rocket launchers and just have a, make a field day of it. You actually have to use some type of proper strategy in this game. I mean, basically run around with an automatic weapon and blowing stuff away is a very good tactic, however, you know, like, if you're not paying attention, stuff will come up from up there, stuff will come up from up there, like this, monsters! See, like, they come from everywhere. You know, wherever there's a spot that they can, you know, physically walk by, through, around, in, Whoops. Obviously, I have been playing this game for a while because I am a level 6 demolition guy, which is. I don't know why they stopped at level 6, but it's the max you can get. And yeah, I mean, you get all the awesome benefits of being a demo guy. And basically, that is you blow stuff up and you get, you know, all kinds of weapons, you get pipe bombs. Pipe bombs used to be real cheap and you used to be able to buy them, but uh, real cheap even if you weren't one, of, even if you weren't a demo guy. And they were even cheaper for the demo guy, but now they made them more expensive so that you can't like kill the boss with little to no effort. <laughs> but uh, this is Gajo. I think I'm gonna play you guys out with some blowing up stuff. But, uh, like I said, this is Killing Floor. I definitely would recommend this game if you guys like zombie killers. And it's really not that expensive. Um, it does have downloadable content. Like, different character packs. So if there's a particular character you want, they're not really expensive. They're like $2, or even when they're on sale, they're a buck or less. So it's really nice. And it comes with pretty decent characters, too, so... It's not like you're getting hosed. Like I said, uh, I will... God, this takes so long. See, when you're on beginner, they give you so much time to do stuff. It's, like, ridiculous. But, like, when you play on normal... Ooh. What's that? Is that a shotgun? Yeah. Let's, get rid of that. let's trade it up. I can't. Bullpop does way less than a shotgun, so... It's too bad that they don't have, like, the weight... I mean, they do have the weight at the bottom, 12 out of 15, but you don't really know how much stuff really weighs right off the bat. You don't, you're you going to forget. As you can see, automatic weapons, close range sights, and this is really nice. I mean, every weapon does this. I mean, that weapon, that weapon. All the weapons do that, which is super nice. Pistols, you get that aiming close-up crap. Love that. Love that. Beautiful. But I mean, yeah, this game is definitely, for real, like, one of the better, kind of like, mass-destroying zombie games. I would recommend it to anybody who loves killing zombies. And then you got this, the ZED time, where it's basically the slow motion, and you can initiate that. Oh, check that out. <laughs> this is Gajo, signing out. Thanks, guys. Peace.